One person is dead, another injured after a wrong way driver crashes into another car. It happened this morning on I-75 near Mack Avenue, shutting down the busy highway during rush hour. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury shows us why police say this was an unusual case of a wrong way crash. Usually when a driver gets on the wrong side of the highway, Michigan State Police say they receive numerous 911 calls. But in this morning's case, they only got a call after the driver crashed into another car. They didn't have any uh, headlights on and another vehicle that was actually traveling the right way struck it head on. Four o'clock this morning, the driver of a Saturn is heading northbound on the southbound side of I-75 near Mack Avenue. She was a 26 year old woman from Macomb. Police say she collided with another car, killing herself and injuring the other driver. To shock, to shock. Nice person. I mean, she always did outside and stuff. She spoke, said hi and stuff. Marilyn Clor lives next door to the wrong way driver and tells us she leaves behind two young boys. My grandsons were just playing with them the other day. The driver of the other car is a 45 year old woman from Westland. Family members tell us she suffered a broken leg. The crash closed down that part of the highway during the morning rush. Police say they did not receive a 911 call about the wrong way driver until the crash. Uh, for us not to get one single phone call in a, in a pretty good crash like this means that either people didn't see the person when they were driving with no headlights or else that it happened so suddenly after the person entered onto the freeway that there just wasn't time to report it. Police say if you see a wrong way driver, call 911 right away and get out of the left lane. If you're driving in left lane going the right way on the freeway for a wrong way driver, you're driving in the right lane. And that's where the person usually that's going the wrong way is going to be in. There are many questions surrounding this morning's crash, like how and when exactly did this driver get on the wrong side of the highway? and What exactly made her lose control of the car? Well, police say an autopsy report will clear up whether or not alcohol or drugs played a role in this crash, but we won't get that answer for several weeks. In Detroit, Simon Chowdhury, 7 Action News.